Governor McCrory announced today he is joining with South Carolina's Attorney General opposing a lawsuit that would allow a transgender high school student in Virginia to use a men's restroom. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick joins us in the studio with more on the effect this case is having here in North Carolina. Bo? Sean and Sharon, while this case may be unfolding in Virginia, it's being heard by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which includes North Carolina. It also has the governor and North Carolina's Attorney General at odds heading into next year's election. It's absolutely an issue for transgender students uh, throughout the state of North Carolina. And it's an issue that's finding its way onto the North Carolina political scene. Governor McCrory should do his job and concentrate on governing the state of North Carolina and not coming after adolescents and kids who li whose lives are hard enough already. It's just disappointing that uh, Roy Cooper, as the elected attorney general, won't stand up for the rights of North Carolinians and their local communities. Governor Pat McCrory originally called on Attorney General Roy Cooper to stand with South Carolina's Attorney General in opposing a lawsuit that would allow a transgender student to use the boys' restroom at a high school in Virginia. Cooper did not. Now, McCrory says without the Attorney General, he is standing with South Carolina. It just seems uh, inappropriate for the federal government to dictate how we might do bathrooms. It's shameful for elected officials to score cheap political points uh, off of students who are already uh, subjected to bullying. This is an issue that some students on UNC's campus addressed two years ago. Inside the Campus Y, a social justice center, the students decided the bathrooms would be open to people regardless of gender identity or expression. There are some people for whom uh, the really hard black or white uh, male, female doesn't really fit, and we want the Campus Y to be a place that's welcoming for people who identify across the spectrum of gender. And there's no set timetable on when the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals will rule on this. It could be sometime next year. Bo Minnick, WNCN News.